Hey, Dee Dee. I haven't watched your um, video today. It came up and then I forgot. You know, oh, I was doing other stuff. I was at work. You know, just got back from the office. Oh, you got notice? Hey, yay. Maybe because you're a mod. Hey, Dee Hickenbotham. Hey, Lisa. Whoa, so today has been a day. Oh, yeah, I'm cold. Yes, I'm cold. You see this? Oh, my goodness. This is my cool Disney um, Walt Disney sweatshirt. Only at Walt Disney World do you find a sweatshirt for $65 and think, that's cheap. Let me buy that. Do I have any other sweatshirt for $65? <laughs> but it was cold in Florida for me. It is cold here for me. Um, we're getting another cold front coming in. Um, yeah, it's temperatures dropping and I feel it. Like I came home, I went to the bed bedroom, put on my fuzzy slippers because I'm like, my feet are cold. Um, yeah, it's like, I don't like this weather, guys. I know people are reveling in the fallness of it all, and people love it, but I, 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 I'm not one of those people, guys. Um, oh, let me text a few people. A windstorm. Oh, that sounds scary. Um, yeah. So I was talking to Winnie today, well, texting. She's on her... Um, member meetup so her and ed devin and james and kevin i think i think they're all meeting up yeah i like low 80s and 70s not this under 70 stuff no 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 and 70 with without sun is still cold for me you know but so i finally figured out how to get monetized I had my my phone app just wasn't working. I, I did everything it told me to do. I'm like, I don't know. So then when I finally came home, sat down at my computer, went to the desktop version. I was able to figure it out because it needed everything was right there. I probably could have been monetized a while ago, actually. Well, hi, Mr. Milo. Yeah. He's like, you're home. You have to pet me. Hi, everyone. Was watching Caleb's video. Hey, how was Caleb's video? He was talking about the new um, Hermes bags or something. I didn't. I cannot stand premiered videos. They drive me insane. I hate them. I will never do them. I promise that. Um, you get a nose for when they start. And then there's like, oh, in 30 more minutes, they will actually start. Hmm, drives me nuts. Um, yeah, so I finally got monetized. I don't know what that means, though. You know, literally, like, I know I have, like, a green dollar sign on stuff, and I, I get some stuff from YouTube to explain things to me, but I'm still, like, I know nothing. <laughs> uh, Dee says she loved it. Um, I'm, I'm assuming you mean Caleb's video. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know, um, I'm not on the Hermes journey. I have a hard time watching Hermes content. I like it when people get their um, dream bags. I, I do watch some Hermes unboxings. I do like them, but I have a hard time when it's people are obsessed over them. Uh, Linda says, Caleb is Caleb, but don't watch the premieres. Watch two times after. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, the premiered, any premiered video. It doesn't matter who they are. I hate them. Because I, I will I won't do that to you guys. But you know, here's here's the thing. When I started YouTube, I said I wasn't gonna be monetized. We here we are, I'm monetized. Um I said I wasn't gonna be sponsored. I have two sponsors, um, Timu occasionally and S occasionally. And then I said there was something else I said I was never gonna do, and of course I think I did it. Um it's an evolution, right? Oh, I said I was never gonna buy con buy bags for content. And I don't think I can, I can say I haven't done that, but have I used YouTube as an extra push to purchase something? Like, well, if I do buy this, I can show it on my channel. So when you give a shopaholic more ammo, it's just like, oh, this is maybe not the best rationale or reasoning, you know? So, 
But yeah, so that's happened. Speaking, Lisa says, speaking of Timu, I bought that but buttery soft bag in the same blue you have. Love it. I know. It is one of the few polyurethane type bags that I think is amazing. Um, and it wears really well. So I have, so I had another wallet bag that I took to my trip with me to Disney and that was from the S zone. And you know, I love the S zone. This is something I purchased myself. They didn't gift it to me. Um, first time I used it, I only used it two or three days and it's already wearing and the edges are already wearing and splitting. I'm like, no. Um, Linda says, never say never learn with the old lady. Oh yeah. Yeah. Never say never say maybe. Well, let's see. You know, okay. Now that I'm warmed up a bit, because we just got home from the car. So we don't like keeping the heat. I, I don't actually like the heater. I don't like hot air. Um, so I like. Oh, see. Let me see if you see. Do you see this little red spot right here, guys? This morning started off with me in a beautiful pink dress. Spilling coffee. All down the front of my dress. Um. In, and this is a, the last remnants of the burn. Oh my gosh. Oh no, we didn't get Veterans Day off. We, well, I'm a, I work for the state in my state agency. We only get the days off that are on the actual day. I think the only exception they've ever made has been like 4th of July. Um, the 4th of July is on a Saturday. They'll give us a Monday off. But if Veterans Day, they're like, it's on a weekend. You don't get it off. But then we get every other weird holiday, state holiday off. But so I went to work. Um, I told James, come home. I need to change my shirt or my dress. So I put on um, this outfit, which wasn't what I wanted to wear. I wanted to wear that dress. I mean, coffee out down the front. Hot enough that it did this. I mean, like, it was some pretty dang hot, hot coffee. And my husband's like, I'm not letting you buy hot coffee anymore. <laughs> it's like, it's not my fault the lid was defective, okay? You know, Linda says, oh, you would love the heating here we we're already are on the single oh ooh. well i like radiated heat radiated heat's fine forced air hot air heat i don't like um but when i was growing up in michigan we had radiated heat which was steam through radiators throughout the whole house awesome awesome i love it but um forced air heat i already have very dry skin it's just really really drying and the heater is on um but yeah um no thank you for single digit anything no thank you um but so i spilled coffee on myself i burned myself i come back to the house oh okay this is okay let's start really first thing and, and linda i can already hear you tell me i told you so the power steering in our minivan the belt was making some sounds of slipping. So James pulled back in. We took my mother-in-law's car. So, uh, yeah, we might be having more car issues. But I'm like, at least it didn't happen while we were on our trip. After we already put two grand into our car. Um, Linda says, the older I get, the more I can't tolerate extreme temps. I can't tolerate extreme temps. I, I have metal in my spine. I feel it. Like, my back was in agony yesterday. I, I started yesterday with 4 ibuprofen. I'm like, what the heck is up? The cold front was moving in. You know, I feel it. It's like, I, even if I don't realize I feel it, I feel it. Um, yeah, but, you know, at least if it's the power steering, if it's the belt, that's an easy fix. If it's the hydraulic system, that's not an easy fix. Let's not talk about it. We won't worry about that till tomorrow. But, um... So anyway, we just, we went to work. We got some stuff done. I had to do some, we did a migration, oh, this is work talk, it's kind of boring, but we did a migration to a new data server and they're like, oh, you have any problems? Just let us know. Oh, whoa. Um, this is what I mean to be minimized, my, minimized, monetized. You just, I think that means you gave me a super chat or something because I turned that on. Thank you, Dee Dee. I have no idea what that means. Oh, it says top chat. And yes, you can. People can now tip me. Yes. I don't, I didn't actually go and read all the details that YouTube does take some out. I don't really know how it works. Um, 
Oh, no, I haven't shown my Disney haul yet. My Disney haul is actually still in a, um, it might be my Monday live, because I'm going to go live Monday, um, and I'll show you that. But I do have a vintage unboxing to do today. Um, just get rid and get another one. Been there, done that. I know, Linda, I know. Uh, thank you, money. <laughs> thank you, Dee Dee. Thank you for the tip. It's awesome. I appreciate it. Um, I have hyper both thyroidism and Raynard's Raynard Raynon's disorder of zero cold. Ooh, where do you, Dee Dee? You need to move down to Texas, Linda. It's a super chat and what takes thirty percent. Ah, thank you, Dee Higginbotham. Thank you so much. That's so awesome. Oh my gosh, and the sticker's so cute. Um, this is what it means to be modest. You get tips. Yay, I get tips. Um, Mister Ken Kenty. Hi. Um, Zena Coleman. Hello. I have new people here. I don't know. Uh, is it Zena or Zena? Um, you, D, you live in, Fl oh, I actually, you know, I knew that. I knew that we were supposed to meet up, but you had other obligations. You do live where it's warm. <laughs> oh, my friend was telling me, um, okay. Tina. Okay. I can say Tina. Um, D, I was being my friend Sally who lives in Winter Park. She was telling me about Florida. So here in Texas, yes, unboxing, please. I'll get I'll, I'll do it right now. I'll do it right now. Here. This is the unboxing. It was here waiting for me yesterday, but I didn't open it because I wanted to do it on the live. Hey Lisa, man, thank you so much. That's so awesome. Um, thank you for the tip. I don't I totally appreciate it. Um, we will learn together what that means. <laughs> um, Melissa, hey Melissa, um, cut out, um, all day. I'm having YouTube withdrawals. Oh no. Um, well, I'm opening a vintage, um, this is a trade guys. I traded this bag with a, is Susie on, I think she's on YouTube. I don't know how we found each other. I can't remember between my YouTube friends and my um, Facebook only friends because some they don't actually cross. Guys, a lot of people I know on Facebook don't use YouTube, and people on YouTube don't aren't on my Facebook group. <laughs> so it's weird. Um, hey, Pixie Buddha. Um, so let me show you guys. So this traded. I sent her. A coach bag, a newer version of a coach bag. And this was something I had asked. She said she had this. And um, oh, I think there's an extra in there, but let me show you what she sent me. Oh my goodness. She had this in the back of her closet. She had um Susie, yes, you're here. Um, yes, I love it, Susie. Yes, I love it. Um, it is a vintage court, guys. She had this in her closet and she didn't even remember having it. She bought it to give to somebody else and they didn't like um, pre-loved items. So, um, so look, look at this. We traded bags. Look, this is, this is why I was willing to get rid of my, um, what are they called? The one I traded up with Luxational, um, the Cassie, the full size Cassie. Cause this is, this is the predecessor. Oh, you're my one, Tina, you're one of my 1,000 subscribers. That's awesome. That's so cool. I do remember somebody texting me they were. And your name is pretty unique. I know, Linda, this is why I saved it. I wanted you to see this because um, I know how much we love. You know how I told you I was done with Vintage Coach and this, this kind of just dropped into my lap. Hey, Birkin Boy. Hey, Cammy's Closet. Um have a cold, so I'm going to take some NyQuil and get to bed. Night, Cammy. Feel better. I know. I know. Ugh, Linda, believe me. I know. It's really hard to see the Creed, but it is an L9N-9870 number in there. But this is, this is, um as far as I'm concerned, everybody compares the Coach Cassie to the, um, Pachette Matisse, but this this guy, this is this is here a long time ago before the Pachette Matisse. This is, I mean, it's a top handle, um, back pocket, turn lock in the and it has an adjustable strap, guys. Adjustable strap. Um, it's so awesome. I am so thrilled to get this. I cannot 
Um, I cannot even tell you how happy I am to get this. December 1999, that's when I graduated high school. Okay, I graduated high school May of 99, and then I went to college. Um, this is so cool. I am so thrilled. Uh, this is awesome. I love this. And there's some other stuff in this box, so let me take a quick look. Um, so I'm class of 99, guys, for my high school. Oh, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> um, I think it's called the, the, I think it's called the court. I think it's called the court. Oh, hey, Lisa, man, you're class of 99? Yeah, we, we had the party, like, it's 1999 going strong. Look at this. I have my own little, that's awesome. Score. That's cool. I'm going to have to figure out how to use this. Maybe there's there's something else in here. So, oh, I have stickers too. Oh, that's so cool. I have a be happy sticker. Or these are like more like confetti dog people because yes, actually these are stickers. Um, she's. She believes she could, so she did. Yeah, I love these things. I use these in my um, church notebook all the time because I have to sit there. I sit there and take notes so I can pay attention. Um, Dee says, I'm class of 1981. Yeah, I'm old. Well, you know, you know, we're just vintage. Vintage. No, no. Um, it looks so soft. Love the leather. Yes, perfect bag was meant to be yours. Yes, it is. Um, oh, this is not what I'm meant to open. I'm meant to open this. Um, this is... Let's see. It is a oh, how neat! This is awesome. My office life. Thanks you very much, Susie. Thank you so much. I always need these things. Actually, I'll use these probably in my my um church uh, notebook too because I I flag and tab my Bible, and then this is cool. That is awesome. Thank you. You didn't have to. That's awesome. I'm just, I'm so thrilled to get this. And this is just sitting in her, this is just sitting in her closet, guys. She hadn't used it. So it's all mine. It's all mine. I love it. It's beautiful. It's soft. It's squishy. It has a back pocket. It is this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful leather. It's gorgeous. This is perfect. Perfection. Um, love this a lot. A lot. Um, no antique. <laughs> Um, Melissa Grady, we're both class of the 80s. I'm um, 86. We're antique. Linda, love the clack it too. Oh, that's what that's called. But you never cut. Yeah. Well, you know, I made two videos that I'm going to have to put together and edit. And I hate editing. It's not the editing I hate. It's just the software I use. The processing, it takes so long to process. Like, what, what are you doing? Why is it taking so long to process? Um, so it's like, whatever. Um, D. Higginbotham, Melissa's Corner, we are like fine wine. We can only get better with age. Exactly. I kind of view age as a privilege. I really do. I think that every, when I was younger, I didn't care, right? When you're younger, you think you're invincible. But now that I'm 40, um, every single year is like, yes, I made another year. Um, most of my family is no longer with us in life. Um, so I value my, 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 my all my years now. <laughs> Would I have said that before? I don't know. So that's like, so life update guys. So his, um, we're driving home from Florida and I might have mentioned this on Wednesday. I don't know if I did or not, but James's father's in the hospital. He's getting a heart catheter put in tomorrow. Um, he has congestive heart failure. It's serious. So uh, his dad has had massive heart attacks. He's had to get a pacemaker. Heart issues run in his family. That's why when James turns 40, I said, James, you are going to the cardiologist. I don't care if you have a symptom. So I make him go to the doctor. Hmm. Um, wow. Whoa. I'm super leave what up. Yo. Hey, Chris. It's Chess with Chris. I unbox a vintage... Um, coach, I think it's called the Coach Court from 1999, and I love this bag. Isn't it awesome? It's so cool. This bag is so cool. So it has a back pocket. It has a top handle. This is the predecessor, the OG for the um, Cassie, the original Cassie, not the 19, which I think is too small and not useful. Um, 
Yes, it is beautiful. So this is from 1999. We love it. Oh, I also picked up some vintage. Um... Oh, hey, Luxational. This is my, okay, Luxational. I traded this bag with our friend Susie. She's also on this chat. She had this in her closet. We traded bags. She, I, she, I think she had mentioned she had a vintage coach court or something. Because I, I think I had said I wanted to find one. And she goes, I think I have one. And so we were talking. And I got this bag from 1999. This is the year I graduated high school, guys. So this bag is staying. It was class of 99. So I don't have a high school ring. But I do have a college ring. So I do wear my college ring. I'm like one of the only people in the world, I think, that wears a college ring. Most people don't. Um, yes, beautiful court. Yes, oh, you have a court too, Luxational. Is it also black? Um, Linda Passos, I'm high school graduate of 87 too. I think we're different. We only celebrate university graduations. In America, we do, we celebrate, um, high school. Because not everybody actually goes to university. So, and my class of, so my class of, my entry in class for university I didn't graduate with that class. I don't really care. So, because I didn't, I don't even know what class I would have supposed to have technically graduated in. Because who has college in four years anymore? Nobody. Um, and even 20 years ago, it wasn't four years. So, anyway. Chris, I wish I had gotten a chance to buy a college ring. Um, why didn't you get a chance to buy a college ring, Chris? Where did you go to college? Did you go to college? If you did, you can buy one still. Luxational, yes. Also black, the one I like one in brown. Yeah. Um, G. Higginbotham, I have a brown court, I think from 96, maybe. That is so cool. Linda Passes America, you celebrate every. Yes, we do. We celebrate every milestone because they all matter. Um, they did offer, uh, yes, whatever college and a few. Yeah, we'll think. Well, with us, I went to UTSA, Chris. So at UTSA, which is University of Texas at San Antonio, um, you have to get up to your junior year, and there's paperwork involved. You just can't just go buy one. It, it's really weird, but it was expensive, and this is like 20 years ago, because I graduated in um, 2005, so a little less than 20 years ago, but close, close enough. Um but none of them offered class ranks, only a yearbook, which I skipped on. I didn't get any yearbooks. I'm like, what? No, I don't want to talk to you people. Um, do you think about myself, both my high school rings and college rings? I wanted to get a high school ring, but my father talked me out of it. He says, you're never, ever. Oh, an ad is actually going to start in 46 seconds. So tell me how this goes, guys. I think it's skippable. Yeah, so... I've never done that before. This is new. <laughs> I have no idea how this works. Um, oh, yeah. My high school offered rings. High, my high school class was 800 people. I went to, well, Chris and um, Dee Dee might know where this is. I went to Madison, James Madison High School out in San Antonio. And it was a very big class. It was a very big school. I have premium. I don't get commercials. Yay! I'm thinking, okay, D, I'm thinking about buying premium. Um, yes, huge school. Yeah, I went to a very huge school. And it says insert ad. So I'm assuming everybody gets an ad right now and they'll come pop back in. We'll see how that goes. I don't know. I just said, I just said YouTube do its thing. I'm like, I, I'm assuming my lives had ads in them to begin with. I don't know. Um, so, anyway, I went to high school in San Antonio, middle school, high school, and college. I went to junior college. I went to San Antonio, um, what's it called? Alamo Community College. I went to Sa San Antonio. I went to the main, camp the main campus way down there off uh, near downtown. Commercial time. Did it work? <laughs> um, I have no idea. I, it told me when a commercial was starting, but I don't know if that means it's going to tell me when the commercial ends. I wonder if this can get better audio, because that's really... 
I want this mic. I need to. I need to adjust my microphone better. My audio has not been that good on some of my videos, and I'm not too happy with that. So, because this microphone picks up everything, but it's not picking up my voice. It's like, hello, um, I'm back. They let me skip. Woohoo! There was. There's two. Wow. Well, that's annoying. Um, Linda, when an ad starts, people that don't, hasn't premium missed what you said. I don't remember what that is. Oh, watch TV too much. I YouTube. So for me, premium is worth it. Um, so basically what I was saying was I went to high school. I went to middle school in San Antonio, high school, junior college and university. So I went to junior college first and then I went to university. Um, I feel left out. I only got one. Got one what? Oh, one commercial? Was it a good commercial? I, I don't know what's up with YouTube. I've been getting these really weird commercials that are long. Like, I'm trying to watch commercials. Since I've learned that skipping commercials doesn't really help the creator, I've been trying to suffer through them. And some of them are really long. I'm like, ah, uh, this, is, this is ridiculous. Skip. And they're like political ads. They're like legit political ads. I did that too, Jackie. Yeah. So, yeah, so I went to junior college and then went to college or university. And at university, I got the college, my college ring. So I figured since we paid so much for a stupid ring, I'm going to wear it. Um, I don't know. Uh, Sandy Hook commercial. Oh, this one is, that's sad. That's rough. Um, but I want to show you guys. Now, I have some videos coming out with this, but I'll show you anyway because I'm so thrilled to get these. Um Do you see what I got? <laughs> oh, I've premium since the start, I think. Can't remember how many years, but it's the most well-spent money. I should probably do premium eventually. I'll do premium. I know. D, look at this. 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 Um, these are vintage Doonies, and they're both navy. They're navy. I know, right? How perfect. Um, a person from one of my YouTube, not YouTube. Facebook groups um, had a bag for sale and I asked her how much and I said well she goes well, I have a couple others I said, well, you do and she goes well, yeah I have three I said well how much if I just bought all three and um, she says well a hundred dollars I'm like with shipping and she said yeah yeah with shipping I'm like thank you <laughs> so I got them and um, my prize my joys. I love these. I love these things. I love, I just love leather bags. I love bags. I can't help it. It's an addiction. I have no space. I have zero space. I'm going to have to get more shelving. I'm going to have to sacrifice other things. I don't know what I'm going to have to do to have room. I know deal of the century. I got three bags for that. So let me show you the other one. So these are the two vintage ones. Um, but this is the one I wanted to buy. Was this one? Because I wanted a baguette. But I don't want a baguette, right? Like I, I want the mama baguette, but I don't want a baguette. Um, so this is this is this is look at the drop on this. This is perfect. This is perfect for my fat arms. Um, this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. I love how they make this. I love the fabric. I love everything about this bag. This is like the perfect baguette. Um I do have altos. I'm thinking about selling them. I'm not sure. Just because they're trophy bags. The altos I don't use. I use one. But most of them I don't use. I put them on a shelf. And I hate trophy bags. Like if I'm going to keep something I want to use it. Right? So I buy three bags in a day. And you complain. But you buy three and that's okay. No, 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 no. I wasn't complaining. I wasn't complaining. I bought three today also. <laughs> I'm just saying I have the same problem. <laughs> but she um I found it mid mid last month and I didn't have the money. So she let she held them for me till I got paid, which was super wonderful. Super wonderful. Um so I'm trying to rearrange. You can always find a way to utilize the seal. I've tried. Um, I think of putting up a shelf that runs and spans the room for my bags. That would work, Chris. Uh. 
<laughs> Linda Pass is jealous. No, you got some awesome bags, ma'am. I saw your, I saw what you bought. Um, did I, uh, but I live in apartments, so like everything, investing in something I don't own seems silly. Well, here's the thing about renting, because we all were there. Um, we actually rented and left renting because it was cheaper to, the mortgage was cheaper than rent. Literally, it was cheaper than rent. And we were, we bought our first house first house in 2007 way back in the dark ages right before the bubble burst but um when we were renting it's really rough but here's what i tell you every place i lived whether i owned it or didn't own it how the furniture and the things i had in it rarely translated to the next place um either the configuration didn't work um so a lot of the things we had customized in our last house we left and of course, we we did sell our last house to my brother and sister in law, so it's not like it went far. Um, it was so that they could get out of the slums that they were living in. Uh, they were living in the ghetto, and I was telling them, "Please leave this ghetto." Um, and I know that's like I don't know if that's like insensitive, but uh, the place they were living in legit should have been condemned. And uh, so when we were leaving, I said, "Buy our place." <laughs> It's like, I know it's far away for you, but it's a house. They can't. And they were like, well, the apartment will rent. The, we rent, they'll, they'll repair things. They lived there nine years. Those people never repaired anything. Their apartment flooded. They had infestations. They had the dishwasher didn't work. The stove stopped working. They didn't do anything in that apartment. Even when it flooded, they just put in um Things that de dehumidify. The air AC stopped working. They didn't even fix that for three months. In Texas. You're like, nah. Um, that's why we bought our first house. It's cheaper at the time. Yeah, it was. Um, Chris, I blew through all my cash and investments. So I got to build up saving again before I can buy. Yeah, I totally. I get that, Chris. Um, I lost furniture to storage units. I did something nuts in college and bought a new set of furniture every year thrifting. Hey, that's cool. Um, D I used my Neverfull as a trade to get my money off an LV city steamer ended up paying half price for that's pretty dang awesome. D um, I was actually watching Jesse styles this video today and she was talking about not too favorably, but she was talking about the new Speedy prices and the new Speedies coming out, the leather Speedies specifically. And um, I don't know how I feel about the leather Speedy that actually looks like the canvas version. So it's brown leather with white monogramming. So I'm like, um, or not white, but like a tan, the reverse color. I'm like, I'm not sure if I, if I could afford the new Speedy that's made out of leather. Why I want one that looks like canvas? Like, just go buy the canvas one. I don't get it. Um, I made my shelving when I had my bags, but it takes it. But I take it with me and I leave. That is mine. Is mine. Linda doesn't give me anything for free. Any anyway. Oh no, yeah, Linda. Oh no, they don't give you anything. They they are like mm hmm. Those and Andrea B says those those, those speedies are silly. Don't get oh I can't afford anything out of LV. I want the little key clay and, and denim and we got um it looks like it's gonna be like five hundred dollars. I'm like no no I can't it's a key clay. Um I can't do that. D Higginbotham I don't like the leather speedy. The leather looks way too thin, way too thin. I don't know I haven't seen really good photos of it at all. Chats with Chris's. I gave away my denim tote to my mother in law and then traded old shoes for four leather bags. That's what's the saying? One out four. And that's pretty much how my, my trade life has been, honestly. Um, DD Bean says, I need the denim and LV. I want the denim speedy and the worst. Oh, by the way, guys, I traded with, um, with Ed. I'm disturbed by the, quant the quality of new LV items. Yeah, I am too, Luxational. So I got, this is Ed Bronze Bag. I got, I traded with him my Mitten Surf 30 tote. He, he I told him, when I, when he showed me this bag, I told Ed, Ed, I love that bag. And he, and he said, 
he said, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to keep this bag forever. And I said, no, you're not. I said, I give you three months. I was wrong. He sold it like in a week because he used it and decided that a top handle bag just isn't right for him in the size. So I said, well, I have this coach surf and mint field tote 30 and I'm mad at coach and I'm mad at the surf and mint collection, which I love and adore, but I'm mad at them. So I'll trade you that surf and mint for you at Louis. And he said, sure, I'll use the surf and mint. I won't use the Louis. I'm like, that's great. So here we are. <laughs> so I think that was hilarious that he only had it for like a week and he put it on sale. He had it on a vlog and he put it on his website. Um, D wasn't that bag he paint paint washed? Yeah, he paint washed it. Yes, he did. Um, you opened the idea of trades for me. The consignment shop offered me over double the cash offered in trade value. Yeah, yeah, trades you get a much better value. They get new stock, you get their old stock. Win win. Linda passes it is D Higginbotham. At, oh. Chris, just Chris, I have never, ever considered it before you introduced trading. to Really, Chris? I love trading. It's the most fun. Because everybody has a bag that doesn't work for them. Everybody does. And when you want to sell something, you put emotional investment in that. And you look at dollars spent. And you kind of want to get the dollars back. But truthfully, we're bag people. We're just going to go buy another bag. So I figured if you have a bag I don't have and I like it. And you know, I have a bag you know, that you want, let's just swap. And we're without postage. No hard feelings. Everybody's happy. As long as you're honest with condition, you know. Like Station, I literally compare my brand new LV Speedy Demir Bean to my vintage coach and was like, it's, <laughs> this is 1500 people, 1550 people pay that. I mean, I paid 1160, which is insane. This is junk. The, oh, it's paper. It's plastic. Wow. Luxational. Please tell me you sold that then if you feel felt that way because then it's not worth it. <laughs> if you feel that way about a bag, it has to go. Um, Andre B. The vintage LV denim pieces are adorable. I know. I love them. And, and they were hard to find before. They're going to be hard to find now. Um, now that the new denim's out, even the new um, Verni um, that they're coming out with. Oh, and Luxational. I was going to show you. I decided to sell the Speedy and put the money in the bank. Smart move. When do you find people to trade? I ask people. Uh, Andrea, people ask me. They'll say, hey, do you have, um, I'd love to buy that bag. I said, great, that's great. Um, I'll sell it for this much or we can trade. And most of the time, people trade. And because I'll trade, I'll trade an LV for Coach. I'll trade um, Coach for Michael Kors. It doesn't matter the brand. As long as everybody's happy that's how I traded one bag for five bags. I traded one Rogue 39 and got five Doonies. It, it worked for me. It worked for her. Because that, that Rogue was $800. So she had... You know, Mr. Milo, you're, you're slapping tail. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the canvas on my Elma BB is not as good as the canvas on my vintage canvas Elma. It's sad. That is sad. Oh, really? That is, well, that's not cool. They took old shoes, some of which I bought from China for five bucks. I got Kohan Vintage Juni American Leather Co. and Super. Where did you find that, Chris? That's awesome. Um, Luxational. Yes, Steve. Vintage LV is better than. I, I was going to show you. I can't, I don't know if you can see it. In the corner, right there, that bag Luxational, the one you gave me, they're coming out with another version of that with a crossbody strap, apparently, according to Jesse Styles. Um, yeah, Milo, he's just being all like, hey, pay attention to me. Forgot to tell you, there's a PLG ground bag in. Really? On eBay, really in the UK, that went far afield. I'm not a huge. I I have three Portland leather goods now. If I think they're good for what they are, do will I ever go out of my way to buy more? No, I don't think so. Um, maybe if the perfect colorway comes, the oversized tote, which I keep looking at, but I I like a little bit more structure than they have in those bags. You know, I, I just think the S-Zone bags are better. It's a thicker leather. And I think that thicker leather makes them more useful as a tote. 
you know. Hello, Milo. Yes, yes, I have chicken right there on my dinner, guys. My dinner is literally right here. It's water burger chicken. And he, do you see these big googly eyes staring at me? You guys, I'm not going to give you my dinner. You're going to have to go beg from somebody else, and I'm not giving you my dinner. <laughs> um, let, me, let me see if I can move it further away so he doesn't, he can smell it. He knows. Um, oh, well, you know, if you, if you can get it there, the price is right, Linda. There's nothing wrong with the PLG. It's just that the leather is thin. It is a solid piece of leather. The construction is okay. It is a good bag to throw around in your car. It's not dressy. But I think it's, they're nice bags. But I would have... For $100? I don't know. I can get another bag similar with a little bit more structure and thicker leather. That's I think that's what's cutting me. That's really preventing me from really loving them is that the the leather on the totes I have are thin, you know, and I think I like, but I don't want to have to put in a um, insert to give it the structure. Like I would like a, a firmer leather. So if you like a soft leather bag without very much structure, they're perfect. You know, do you do you don't listen to me. Lisa man, are you still looking for a GM sized tote? Yes. <gasps> Uh, have you seen the herd of? Yes, I have. Um, because I listened to Hello Catwalk City, and I think she has talked about those bags. The I cannot ever say it. C Y U A N A. Um, I think they're beautiful, but again, they still fall under. And I even have. I've looked at the um, Made Well tote. Also, they have a tote that's a little bit more structured. It comes down to the the quality of the leather and, and the fact that it has to have some enough, because I want a 20 inch base, a 20 inch base that fans out. So it can be soft and floppy at the top, but the base has to have some stability and structure and it has to be stitched in such a way that there is a base, you know, not just a fold, you know? So that's what I've been finding with a lot of these bags. So I've looked at leatherology. Oh, speaking of leather, have you guys watched, Leather tan, uh, Tanner Leatherstein, his newest, um, he he took apart. He went and bought Michael Kors Outlet Safiano finished bag for like eighty nine dollars, and whoa, it was pretty um, brutal. Um, first of all, a Safiano finish is a heavy finish on any leather, but he said it was probably four dollars worth of leather poor quality leather and he even showed that I'll oh, skip stitches not the best quality he goes he goes for $89 you're getting it's okay you know but no it's not it's not a good product and he said there was even like a leather like a leather powder substance to make it look like Milo James yeah i think you're you're Go check on your mother, please. I think Milo stole her, her food. <laughs> Close her door. <laughs> that was a big... Maybe he needs more food. He stole mom's french fries. Hey, James, give your mom my french fries. I only want the chicken. <laughs> He did. He stole her French fries. <laughs> Such a. I heard. I heard that. I heard. I heard a yell. I'm like, oh no. Um, I'm taking my Chanel Cambon out tomorrow, probably for the last time. I'm probably going to sell it. I never carry it, and it costs so much to sit on a shelf. Really? Um. Really? Uh, hey James. Oh, he's already has his headphones in. No, Milo, you already stole Grandma's French fries. We closed her door so he can't go in there. Um, he is hungry. I think he needs probably when the weather changes like this. Sometimes their appetite goes up a little bit, but they also he has to taste. He's stolen enough French fries that he wants French fries, which are not healthy for dogs. <laughs> They're not bad. They're just potatoes. Um, Brahmin has a big tote bag. I don't like Brahmin. 
I've had Brahmin. My sister's a teacher, so she had a Brahmin tote, and the what happened to those straps were a travesty to mankind. Those straps should not wear out like that. Linda Man, I watched the review of the Coachtopia and was glad I did want to see it. I know, right? I love the Coachtopia stuff. I think they're so cute, but no, it's it's like it's like um leather like material. It's made leather. They took leather and it's like plywood. They just made it. They manufactured leather. I upped our dog's food they need it for the hibernation. Yeah, I think they might need some more food. Um, I'll yell at James in a minute. Actually, you know, I'll text him because he's on his phone. Even though he should just hear me, but he's tuning me out. His hearing's not that good. Um, and he t he ups his, his um, I keep telling him he needs to go talk to a hearing doctor, but, you know, it's just until I make the appointment for him. Oh, when was the last time I texted him? So far away. Give Milo more food. Yeah, he's probably just hungry. He just had dinner, but if he's doing this, he's he's hungry. Um, hey, hi, Rael. Um, I I think YouTube didn't like your comment about. Oh, did it do something? Hmm? Kuchopi is bonded leather. Yes, it's bonded leather. Um, Rael's closet pixie. I don't like it. It tried to bite me every time I put a hand in it. Oh, which bag? Um. Some bags do that. Brickenna Bry. Oh, I think I said your name wrong last time. Sorry. Um, yeah, no. Um, some, again, you, oh, you just don't know about bags. Like, I have so many bags. And you use it. You love it. You think you, you think, you think you want that bag. You, you covet it. You get it. You use it. And then the letdown. Because, Sometimes they're perfect, sometimes they're not. A lot of times they're not. And you've bought it. You've used it. It's now used. You can't... I mean, if I walk... And just walking it around in the store um, is, is not enough. Like, I have put all of my things into bags and walked around the store with them. Literally. I've taken the short store wallet, put my cards in, will this fit? Of course, I'm not shopping at Chanel and Hermes. I'm shopping at, like... The outlet for Mark Jacobs. You know, they didn't care. They were fine with it, you know. So anyway, it was um it's been a week. Like, so we traveled for two days. We took a day off on Wednesday to recover. Then Thursday we went to work, and today I went to work. And man, I'm tired. <laughs> um, it was on a Lux comment asked to be approved. Really? interesting i insulted oh how did we how did we insult mk really that's interesting um so no so tanner leatherstein said that um the safiano leather he doesn't like safiano any safiano i don't even think he liked prada safiano he doesn't like lv's epi he's he's very um he's very um singular in what he really prefers so even though he he's giving a review on his opinion his opinion of course is biased you know it's strange that happened yeah i didn't i didn't you know i don't know if i have if i went when i went live i think it can it asked me if i want to do um let me see let me go to settings let's see if it lets me do stuff um I just monetize uh, live settings. Oh, I already did that. Okay. Oops. Discard changes. Cancel. Save. I didn't do anything. Okay, how do I get out of the screen? Okay. I don't know what I did. Um, it feels like plastic. Yeah, because of the coating. It's just a heavy coating. So does the Epi. The, ep the Epi leather. If I touched this in a store, I would never say... I would... I would not say this is leather. It doesn't feel like leather. It feels like a coating, which is exactly what it is. A coating. You know, this, I would not, I don't, if, okay, this, this is a, this, feels more like leather, but it's still a coating. There's still a coating on this, you know, um, 
I think that's why we all love these bags so much because they feel like leather. They feel like leather. Like when you've had a really good leather jacket and you've had it for 20 years, that's the way I want my bags to feel. I want them to feel like I'm touching something that once was living, you know, something that's not covered. This is dyed. This is treated. This has, this has moisturizer on it. This is not, you know, this has treatment, but it feels like leather where the Safiano doesn't. I don't care. Epi doesn't. I still love it. I mean, I love Epi. Mr. Milo, you have been fed. You know, he had to come over and look. However, Epi leather can have survived nuclear... Yeah, I love Epi. I do. I love Epi leather. But if I touched Epi leather without knowing what it was and who made it, would I love it as much? I don't know. But then I have leather bags. I have polyurethane bags. I have... Fabric bags, canvas bags. Oh, let me show you my bag of the day, guys. I am so... Okay, so Dee Dee Bean and I are on this um, group group thread with a couple other YouTube or Facebook friends and YouTubers. And I showed it twice. I love this bag so much. I forgot I already showed them the bag because I'm so excited that I got this bag. I love this bag. Um, look at this. Look at this bag. This is the most amazing bag. Let me see if I can move this a little bit more to get me more. I need to figure out my seating better. I haven't quite figured out the best. I'll do it this weekend. We'll work on it. So this is a Dooney and Burke Minnie Mouse. And this is, I, I just add this pin today. Um, I love this bag so much. I got this on um, eBay. I think I opened this. Did I open this for you guys on Wednesday? I don't remember. I might have. Um, best bag. I love this bag. I love this bag so much. This is how much I love this bag. I don't remember how many people I've shown it to. I've put it in everybody's face. I'm like, look at this bag. Look at this cool bag I bought. My friends are laughing at me. My coworkers are also laughing at me. It is okay. My coworker is the one who gave me this pen because they know I'm, I'm a little in, in, in crazy. I'm crazy. But look at this fantastic shape. Now, for those who love Dooney, go look up the Dooney Mail Bag. M-A-I-L. It's currently on sale at I Love Dooney. I love that bag. It looks like this shape. What goes around comes around. You know? Anyway. <sighs> I love bags. I know, right, Susie? That bag is adorable. And I got it on I got it on eBay for $25. And then tax and shipping. It was $35. And do you realize I've had um I know. It's adorable. I love it. It's the most cutest bag. And it's fabric. It's fabric. It's not even coated. It's not even coated canvas. It's just fabric. You know, I just commonly search Dooney, newly listed, and it popped up. I'm like, it's old. You know? I, I, no matter how fabulous that bag is to somebody else, or to me, somebody thought, I'm tired of it. And I'm like, yes, I want that bag. Um, I'm used to people laughing at me. I'm goofy. <laughs> well, that's fun. I'd rather be laughed at. Well, for fun, funny things, not for mean spirited things. That's not fun. Um, I've been laughed at for both reasons, guys. Both reasons. Um, my, um, this my question about Dooney Outlet. Is it like coach? Okay, so this is why where they make back just for Outlet. This is why I love Dooney. This is why I love Dooney a lot. Dooney doesn't make bags for outlet. Dooney is like a $30 million company. Uh, most of these other companies are like in the multiple, multiple millions. Um, and so Dooney only makes for Dooney. Dooney outlet literally is what outlets are supposed to be like. Dooney doesn't have their own retail store anymore, I think. If they do, it's in Connecticut. But they're, they, they're sold through distributors like department stores and they're sold through um, their own website, of course, but they don't. Um, so Dooney is one of the only brands where you can see a Dooney outlet and it's legit an outlet. They carry, they'll have stuff from us. They're always showing colors and seasons. So, um, so right now you'll see summer stuff on sale and in summer and spring, you'll see winter stuff on sale. You know? Yeah. 
the Dooney Outlet is the same as the main website. Yeah, the same bag, same quality. It's just different colors. That's really all it is. Is their spring colors? Are they are they changing out something? Have you heard of Mason the Butte? I have the I have the Colette tote and love it. No, I've never ever Beverly. I've never heard of Mason de Butte. Um. But I have a threshold. I do not enjoy spending more than two hundred dollars for a bag, and that is severely limiting. I will go up to three hundred. I have one or two times spent many luxury money, but I like too many bags just to spend a lot of money on one. Um, I'm on the coach. I'm on a couch. I'm a mess. It's fr oh yeah, Rayelle. It's Friday. This is what the dogs are pestering my husband now. Um, I thought Dooney Outlet was older collections that didn't sell out. No, no, really. Um, they're not older collections. They're actually the same bags. You can get the zip zip from the outlet as you can from the, the zip zip. Dooney styles don't really turn over like a lot of other people. So you'll get the same camera bag, the same zip zip, the same uh, market tote or whatever they call it. They'll call it the Lexington tote or the, the Wren tote or uh, the Florentine satchel, the satchel. Um, sometimes it's, it's just older seasons. It's done by date too, when they receive it, they just, and I mean, you're not going to get a huge, huge, huge deal at I Love Dooney. You're still going to spend around a hundred dollars per bag. I mean, the cheapest deal I've ever gotten at the outlet was maybe $80 for a camera bag, occasionally less than that, but never less than that for a bag. Um, SLG is about thirty to forty-five dollars for SLGs, and they're legit the same SLGs you can buy at the regular store, just a different colorway. So they do just come out with seasonal colors. They'll always come out with like the Bordeaux, the Chestnut, the Natural. Um, but if you're looking for like the Elephant, or uh, they'll have like um, oh, what's that other color? Any blue? They'll normally have a navy and one other blue, like marine or ocean or jean, and then like are they even had Caribbean blue? I know the blues because I love blues. Um, and then you'll see them linger, and then next summer you'll they'll come out with a different shade of blue. You know, so it's pretty cool. I don't suppose Longchamp makes totes big enough for you. Longchamp does, but I don't like Longchamp's nylon. Uh, I mean, I like their nylon. I just don't like a nylon bag for the tote I'm looking for. And Longchamp is the other company I know of that does not do for outlet. Everything in a Longchamp outlet store legitimately is made by Longchamp. It's just older items that they're moving out, you know. And they'll, they'll sometimes even have current stock items. So they'll tell you. I also live next to a long shop um, outlet. I thought Dooney Outlet was older collections that didn't sold out. Lisa, man, I, I don't suppose long. Okay. Luxational rail. Um, at least it's not Monday. Oh, thank God. Two more days till Monday, guys. Let's not push my. It's, it's a Monday stay where Monday is. Um, the zip zip has been done for 10 years. Yeah, the zip zip, the dome. Um, so basically the bucket bag. Um, right now they're coming out with brand new, their brand new turn lock, whatever. Um, they just reinvent themselves a lot. Like the Amelia, I got my Amelia tote from Florentine from them. I even got my Courtney sack from them, um, at Christmas. Um, some th it's like there's some collections they do that only go to like QVC, like our H H H S N, like the, oh, what's it called? The Maxine. I think it's called the Maxine tote or the Russell. I can't remember one of those two. There's the, the outlet and the website will only sell small and medium, but QVC will sell it in large. You know, I'm going to eat and talk to you guys because this is dinner. It's late. I'm tired. Please don't bother me dogs. Um, that's why I'm saying not the current ones. Oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Well, not the ones that are like on Dooney, um, yeah, no. Yes, I would agree. Well, they're not the same as the I Love Dooney. They actually will price match I Love Dooney. If they have the exact item in stock, they will price match to the I Love Dooney. You know, today's savvy shoppers, we have to we have to look at everything. You know. 
what bags are you guys looking at? Like, so I was looking at the new Hermes bags that um, Jesse Styles is showing. And then I was looking at the new, actually, I was listening to Meredith's um, Q&A about her experience on her shopping, um, her trip to Italy, or not Italy, to Paris and, and England. She wasn't really happy with her Hermes experience. And that was a very expensive bag that she bought from them. But, you know, if you're going to a luxury store, you kind of want... Lisa Mann kind of want the Coach Soft Tabby Hobo. I love the Coach Soft Tabby Hobo. Love it. But I know I'm not a tabby person, so I can't... I won't fall out of that rabbit hole again. Um, I don't want it to be Monday. No, I'm happy it's Friday. Yeah, do her. She said that her experience in her home store in Australia is, is, is lovely, but the experience she had in um, the Hermes store, and I, and she says because they're French, but I don't know. That sales associate jived with um, Dale. She just purposely was rude to, to Meredith, in my opinion. Um, Luxational, is it this is Lily. I just wanted that day um, that your that your videos are so cool about bags. Ha! Huh! I just wanted that day. Pixie, I'm behind times. I just ordered a Coach Rowan. Oh, Pixie, the Coach Rowan is my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite bag at a Coach. The outlet, and that's why I'm so salty about the Surf and Mint collection. Is I actually prefer. A lot of the outlet styles. I like the Coach Morgan out of the outlet. I like the Coach Rowan. And I like the Dempsey. Um, those are some of my favorite. I don't really care about. Um, they have the Kira. And I think they have. I can't remember the other ones. They have a bunch of bunch of them. And it wasn't in Meredith's. Yeah. It was Meredith's appointment. And it's totally. I mean. That woman just liked Dale more. And vibe with Dale, and that's just not cool. It's a, if it's a VIP appointment, even if they don't share um, the stories about how... Because they don't share history, so they don't know what Meredith has purchased, they still know to get that appointment is hard to do. You know, Dale wasn't there. They would not have offered Mer Meredith any... I agree with you. I don't think they would have. Um, D Linda Pastels, I lost a row in this week uh, after... A thousand pounds, or yeah, no, or not a thousand, a hundred pounds. No, you can get the Rowan for $125. So, and that's new from Outlet. Can you buy from the Outlet, Linda? Do they, do they ship to to where you're over the pond? The Rowan, I have five of them. I have, to, I can't buy anymore unless it's like a super, super special Rowan. I won't. I, I said no, Jackie. You cannot. You cannot. I have no space. Yeah, one hundred five dollars. That's about what you should be spending for uh, Rowan. They start, I think, almost. I think they start now at almost one hundred ninety nine sometimes, but that's for the special, special ones. But. I normally can pick one up at Outlet for $95, between $95 and $105, depending on sales. Cool. Yes, $98. And if you're very lucky, you can buy them free love for $50, but that's getting harder and harder to find. I'm actually finding that the coach sales on their new stuff is better than their pre-love stuff because they come out with so many collections that if you miss that XYZ collection, people will spend more for it later because they missed it, you know? It was beautiful stage and gold inside, but it was 31. I gave up my old Rowan away to my, to my mom and she's loving it so I got a new one. You know who has a bag I really want? It's um, David's Closet. No, is it David? Yes, David's Closet. He has a bag that his mother bought him and it's kind of like a Rowan shape but it's called, a, I think it's called a Legacy. 
um, one of the legacy bags and it's just gorgeous. I love it. I think it's beautiful. And it's funny because he, David's closet, if you watch him, he says that he will not buy any more contemporary bags because he doesn't use them. He's only going to buy luxury bags from now on. I'm the opposite. <laughs> You have bags that you re regret selling. I have had six ones. I sold five of them and gave one to my niece. Really? You didn't even keep one? Why, D? Well, with the way quality of all bags have gone, I don't blame you, Linda. For not buying contemporary bags. Dee Dee Bean says, I have a Rowan brand new. I haven't even used it. Got Really? You got it in February and you haven't even used it yet? Dee Dee, you should use that bag. Got tired of them. Yeah, they are the same barrel. I mean, if you like a barrel bag, it's great, but they're the same bag, just in different colors. Yep. Yes, Linda. Only been buying vintage ones. It's it's because even in contemporary bread, in order to save money, even with economy of scale, even with all the things, um, it's just these bags are starting off at three hundred dollars. You know, for a lot of these bags, so even picking up on sale, like it's it's still a hundred so odd, some odd dollars. I still think a hundred some odd dollars for a bag is expensive. And that's the third of the value of most of these bags. Beverly says Mason de Bigard bags are under two. I'm going to have to look that up. I've never even Beauregard. Mason de Beauregard bags. I'm assuming they're French. Or, no, Butte. Mason de Butte. No. Mm -mm. You even got second dinner. <laughs> Let me look up this Mason the Butte. Let's see. How's it? B-E-A U-T-E bags. Oh! That's cool. So it's it's www.mdbm That can't be right. That's what I put in there. Yeah! Mason Debut It's M M D B M. Let's, um, province leather bags, cow leather. Okay, let's take a look at this. Um, D. Higginbotham, I took advantage of the 40% off sales. Dress off your purse and got the pink and Viquetta Boston. Yay! I want that bag that, I want her to do the tote in that blue Tiffany color. Um, but the vintage prices are starting to be salt. Yeah, yeah, they're just ridiculously high right now. Um, you saw the price that, yeah. When he paid like what two hundred some odd dollars for that Speedy, mm -hmm. I thought that was high, you know, for a Speedy that was pretty needed rehab. Yes, he is saying please feed me, and now I have a little Watson at my feet too. Yes, his tail is a lethal weapon. So let's take a look. So this is um. The tote. That looks really nice. It's $200. That's a good price. It's a structured tote. Crossbody. It looks like good construction on this. Let's take a look at the details. It is in centimeters. Mm, there's the inches. So it's 10 by 13 by 5. Still too so that one's still too small for me. 
but the shoulder strap is a nine inch drop, but that's $200. It's pretty good. It's a nice, shiny, soft looking leather. I'll have to, I'll have to spend more time hanging out with that website. Um, you can buy them. Their tails, yeah, they're, they're, they're weapons. Actually, somebody in my area is looking to rehome a Great Dane, and I is doing is everything in me not to say we'll take that dog because our dog is, is senior, but Great Danes are very jealous. They like their people, and they want their attention, and he would love to have a playmate, but he's also old. He doesn't, the, the, the Great Dane that they want to rehome is uh, under two years old. I can tell by looking at him. He's probably only a year old. Like, people get the puppy. Oh, it's a puppy. It's all cute, but they start out, you know, and they, like, keep getting bigger. And uh, if you don't socialize Great Danes, it's a problem. You have to actually, these dogs are not for novices. Um, we we got him as an adult, so we didn't have to deal with socialization and manners. But somebody else did that. He He's well trained. Um, um, 19 inches. I'll have to look at that. Hmm. Has a tote that's 19.5 in, in width. That's what I'm looking for. I just have to go look. I have to go down the rabbit hole of looking. I just pulled up the first thing it listed. I have two. I have a Watson at my feet and a Milo at my right hand because he's like his James. His person is sitting right there. You can't see him off camera, but they're like, "Mom, Mom, we know you have food. I I should never have eaten that piece of chicken." <laughs> um. Ridiculous. The funniest video I ever saw was a Great Dane throwing a temper tantrum because his brother was getting attention. Yes! Um, actually, there's a funny video out there that I've watched several times where this man has a giraffe from, like, FAO Schwartz, one of those big, tall giraffes. And, you know, the owner, the dad, comes over to the giraffe and he's on his knees and he's petting the giraffe and he's like, oh, look at the cool... And then his dog, who was lazing about on the bed... Gets off, gets off the bed, goes over to dad. And he's like, uh-uh. Gets right in his way. Pushes that giraffe out of the way. And he's like, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh-uh, no. They're very jelly. They want the attention. Like, it's ridiculous. The, the surefire way to get him over here, if I say Watson, which is not his name. I can say Milo. He will ignore me. If I say, Watson, come here, Watson. Um, he'll, be, he'll, he'll whip his head around. He's like, what? What you're calling? I'm like your name isn't Watson. Your name is Milo. You know, and we didn't change Milo's name. You know, he came that name. He always had that name. You would definitely have to let go of some bags if you got another great day. Oh, we can't. We don't have room for the one great day we got. Um, he's he's a uh, he's an awesome dog. But we we have both decided that we would if um, our next dog is going to be a smaller dog, <laughs> um, mainly because the little dog the pug does so well with his mom. Um, cause she's in a wheelchair. The big, the big dog can be a little pushy. I mean, like he's not literally pushy, but you can't, she can't get him out of the way. Like he had, he's only able to live with us because he is a well-behaved dog. Not because, um, she can, he listens and, and he'll get out of the way. Right. The little dog's dumb. The little dog doesn't get out of the way, but he's so small that it's fine. Like his brain's he's fine. He'll, he likes to jump on mom's bed and he'll cuddle with mom. He's a very good companion dog. He's not the brightest bulb. Um, pugs are not, they were bred for companionship, not for their intelligence where, um, Milo is intelligent. Um, yeah, I still have to let bags go anyway, just because I'm out of space. You know, even with the new shelf, I'm going to have to, I'm, I'm trying to get all my bags and stuff in one, one location so I can count them, um, or at least two locations. I have one cabinet in my bedroom that is going to, Mr. Milo, James, he almost got that llama. Wave another toy at him. You have a whole basket of toys. He wants your attention. And he's like, dad's ignoring me. Um, yeah, don't count them. I know. Well, so here's the thing. So my case in my bedroom, when I first started doing this, had 60 bags in them. I am now down to 40 bags in that case. 
But I haven't counted out here. <laughs> and I'm not going to. <laughs> um, oh, no, no. I don't want to count them. I don't want to be depressed. Because originally I was telling James that I was trying to get down to 100. And I, uh, yeah, no. Mm -mm. At this point, I'm just going to be happy to be under 200, to be honest. I, I mean, I think I'm somewhere, if I'm guessing correctly, probably around 150, if I'm really honest. Um, it could be more, but I've gotten rid of my little, little bags and I've gotten rid of my, um, vintage -y, um, my older bags. I just sold a bag, you know, that, that, um, Snoopy bag. I just sold it. I need to mail it off tomorrow. Um, I figured somebody would buy it and I haven't used it in a year and I don't like, I loved it, but I didn't use it. And that's rough, you know, the love something, but you don't use it. And when I use it, I loved it and I still love it. I mean, I know it's a contradiction. It's a whole bunch of contradictions. It's emotionally, I love the bag. Um, do I reach for it? No. So I like the size of the bag. I love the look of the bag, but I have it that same exact bag in three different versions. So, oh, oh, there's no way I have as many bags as Meredith D. Meredith has an entire room of bags. Um, I have part of a room of bags. <laughs> and Meredith is a collector. I don't I don't actually consider myself a collector at all. I consider myself a um, I'm trying to work on curating. I'm trying to work on using the ones I have. I'm not going as far as like um Candy Sweet Love for LV. She's been selling bags. She's not using. I'm not going that far. Um, I prefer to give away bags. Uh, Meredith has 400. I'm pretty sure she has 400D. That woman has a lot of bags. We just see a small bit of it. Um, yeah, there's no way. Just just her just her LV collection. Um, she pulls up bags. I forget. I, and I watched. I think I've watched every video she's published, and I still. I'm surprised at what she pulls out. And like, oh, I remember when she unboxed, unboxed that. But then you never really saw it again. Because she curates her wall, depending on what her what her videos are showing. But even um, Winnie B, she has says she says she has 50 luxury bags. Not contemporary, luxury. And I think Yoda Style says she has 20 luxury bags. You know? And we're talking like the art scene. She has, I think... I think Yoda has like two artsies, a couple Chanel's. I mean, these are not, these are multiple thousand dollar bags. These aren't just like a couple hundred dollar bags. Oh, Linda, she said she already has, uh, the last video that she already, yeah, she has 500. I can believe she has 500 bags. Because she keeps them. She keeps them. Um, I, I think she's doing Bagmas again this year. So I had originally said I wasn't going to post in December, but my I'm going to post in December uh, because I'm just trying to get through all my bag videos and I don't want to, I'm already so far advanced in my scheduling that I don't want to be even more further advanced. Like if I didn't post the bags I already have in the can until January is so out of date, you know, D Higginbotham, I have somewhere between 35 and 40, mostly contemporary bags. Um, yeah, I have some bags that I had since high school. I, I just can't part with emotionally. They're mine. Um, the newer bags are much easier to, to let go of. I will admit that. The newer bags. Um, but the ones I had 20 years ago, even though I don't want to use them. Even though I, I, I pick it up. I, I should use this bag. I'm like, I don't want to use this bag. It's so out of style. Um, it's not my style anymore. It's not me anymore, but it represented me 20 years ago. So it's really hard for me to let go. And I love the bag. You know, I love the bag. So I don't want, I want, I don't want it to, you know, I, just, I love it too much. And, and those are emotional because, <laughs> you know, no one's going to, I mean, if I sold it or got rid of it, at least somebody could use it again, you know, instead of sitting on my shelf.
Ooh, I'm tired. It's been one of those years. I don't know if I can do... I mean, I'm not doing Bagmas. I'm not doing Vlogmas. I'm just going to do my regular videos. But we're going to have so much content out there in December. You know, I think we should do like January. The month of January instead of Vlogmas. Because if everybody does... If if Dale does Grinchmas, Mary does, does Bagmas, uh, I think Autumn will do her traditional vlogmas and i watch autumn's vlogmas because i love her dogs her dogs get advent calendar treats every day and i love her dogs i really like dogs since i think they're so funny and cute um oh don't be shocked if someday you see me come home with a dotson um or um what's the other dog i really like um small corgi but corgis are possessive mm-hmm it is very difficult letting go, especially, as I said, the new ones, because our time has been short, but the ones I used when I was in my 20s, they were every, okay, when I bought those bags in my 20s, when it was $50, <coughs> buying a 50, excuse me, no, I am, no, no, sir, no, I have nothing to give you, there's no food here, he's like, I know you're lying, mom. But um, the bags I bought way back then for $50 in high school, guys, I was making $7, $8 an hour. So, and I wasn't working full time. I worked like one day a weekend, you know, because that's what I was doing. And I didn't make that much money. So $50 was a lot of money for me to buy a bag. And so when I bought the bag, um, it might as well have been 5000 you know, because that's just how expensive and it was a huge expense. So when I was in my 20s, I wore a bag for years and years and years. And I had one bag. I had a maroon one and I had a tan one. That was how I rolled. And, and if I wasn't using those two bags, I was using bags at a Walmart that were fabric because fabric is more durable than polyurethane. And I I wish I kept it. I had a, um, a and I just had it like 10 years ago. I just got rid of it 10 years ago. Um so those bags, to me, I can't let go of. I can't. They're just in my shelf. And I, I've just come to peace that they're staying there. Like, say, show my husband would divorce me if I have 500 bags. Oh, yeah. Well, see, Meredith has a whole room. So, like, say, you know, if you had your own room that he never went into and never bothered and never had to see it, he wouldn't care. You know, he wouldn't care. But if it's, like, my collection, which is out in the open with everybody, everybody gets to see it. Everybody cares. You know? My, my husband has more items than I do, but his items are small and compact or they're um, expensive in one, you know, this one thing that's really expensive, like the computer I am using is his computer is his gaming computer that costs $2,000. It's not my gaming computer. It is his gaming computer, but I have usurped it. So he's going to probably end up getting another gaming computer, but this one computer is a Louis, you know. I can't let go of my old bags. All of them have a history and part of my life. The vintage ones I can't let go of because they are part of history. The only one get rid of are contemporary ones. Exactly, Linda. Exactly. Um, <laughs> Luxational. Yes, he would. Well, Luxational, what does your husband collect? He Does he have a hobby? I used to collect books. I used to have my whole house was full of books. Full of books. Um full and full of books. I, I used to collect, I used to read all the time. Now I'm on YouTube, so I don't, and I listen to audiobooks. So I don't read as much as I used to, but I used to be a reader. Like, and I still read audio. I, I listen to audiobooks, but, um, I used to read all the time. Read, stitching, uh, collecting jewelry, buying bags. My hobbies really haven't changed. My taste in what I have purchased has changed. So what I bought, um, 20 years ago, 10 years ago, five years ago, isn't what I'm buying now. And that's what I tell my friends too. They're like, oh, but I'll use this forever. I'm like, you know, you know, you're not going to use that forever. Like when you lose the 10 pounds, you're not going to want to wear that. Um, just get rid of it and buy the next new thing. And, and she's like, but I love this. Like you love it now, but in 10 years, you might not like that. You know, I don't have, oh, Linda says that this, that's why I don't have a husband. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'll have to ask anybody's permission. Do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. But, um, no, sir. No, sir. They know I have french fries right over there. I don't know how. I mean, uh, um, 
Oh, he's absolutely 100 and introverted. He's zero hot. Oh, zero hobbies? Oh, that's rough. You know. No, sir. Little Watson. Okay, I can't pet him because Mr. Milo just looked at me. <laughs> Did you see that, James? <laughs> no. <laughs> Will you put this in the kitchen for me? They know. They know this is here. They know it's here and they want it. Just stick it in the um, refrigerator. Do not share with them. <laughs> James's hobbies are gaming. Video games, computer games, console games, drones. He flies drones. We have board games. Um, he used to be a prolific reader, but then almost all of his authors have died off, and he just hasn't. He doesn't like the new type of authors that are out, and he doesn't. But he was a prolific reader. He reads faster than I did, and I had never met anyone who read as fast as I was so jealous. I'm like, how can you read that fast? You know? Anyway, so uh, what's everybody else doing this weekend? The weather here is going to be frightfully bad. It's going to be rainy, wet, and cold. But tomorrow, I am going to be going down to San Antonio to hang out with my sister. I haven't seen her in three weeks. We miss each other. I had to stop paying... I had to stop playing Candy Crush. There was this one night I was up for four hours playing Candy Crush until like the wee hours of the morning because I kept winning. And if you kept playing, you kept getting extras, right? And if, if you stopped playing, then you had to buy all the extras to get you further in the game. I've quit Candy Crush, Candy Soda, Candy Saga, all of them because they were I was obsessive. James is, Linda says, James's hobbies are the same as my ex, the one that passed in August computers and drones. Yep. D. Same here. Sunday. I'm going to the movies. Oh, what movie? We just saw Freelance. Stupid movie. I loved it. I like bad movies, guys. I don't really like great movies. Like, I don't, I'm not that, uh, I like bad movies. Um, I just do. It's, 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 it's fun. Oh, the Marvel movie's coming out. Yeah, I think we'll go watch that too. If it's coming out this weekend, we'll go watch it. Or we might, we're going to go to Thanksgiving with some friends and we're going to do a Friendsgiving on Thanksgiving day and go to a restaurant and then go to a movie. So we might have to save the Marvel movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I really hope Super Jacob has an earlier um, live because on Wednesday his live was at, for my time period, I think it started somewhere around 9 or 10 o'clock at night. I only got an hour in before I was zonked. I had to turn it, and it, he was on for five hours. And then when I was listening to the replay, he was like, I can't get any likes. I'm like, you were on in the middle of the night, in the a.m., during the middle of the week. Like, I realize we have to share the wealth of going with, so other people can listen to your lives, not just in this time zone or northern hemisphere or whatever. But I'm like, Jacob, you're, you're not getting people hitting the like button or watching because it's like 2 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> D, I stopped watching Jacob during the week because he comes on. He comes on so late. I mean, so late. Like, I know he's a full time YouTuber with. Well, I don't know if he's really a full time YouTuber. I think he has other. I mean, he he produced a film, so he does more than just YouTube. But his time schedule is like the rest of the world works like in the morning hours. I know he's a vampire because he said he's a vampire, but we're not vampires, you know. If I listen to his live midweek, I'm a zombie the next day. 
So what I do is I just listen to his live when I'm working the next day. <laughs> um, it's going to be early for Australia. Um, he stopped. I want to go to Australia. Anybody here been to Australia? I want to go one day. I've been close to Australia. Like, I've been to Japan and Taiwan and Thailand, but I've never actually been to Australia. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I had to join his pre-show or his, um, tier, his, um, oh, luxational. <laughs> uh, Dacob, you know, Dacob was talking on his, on his last live about how to grow the channel. Should he have people, guests come on? And, and it got me thinking about this because I'm just, you know, um, GD, I keep getting free cruises to Australia, but Hub says no until after he retires. Too many days off. Yeah, it's too far of a flight. Um, very expensive flight too. If you look up those flights, DD, to Australia, free cruise ain't worth it. You know. Um, but Jacob was thinking about growing his channel. So when I got my monetization stuff and I was going through this, it gives you an option to have a membership. Like I'm like, okay, well I I'm a part of two memberships, so I. I am in Jacob's membership and another uh, Michelle, Michelle's membership. And I, so I text Winnie. I said, Winnie, should I do a membership just for, and do two lives a week, one for members, one for non-members? And she said, she says, maybe when you have like, you know, 30,000 subs. And I'm like, you mean in 10 years? <laughs> so, but she had a point, you know, cause I have, I only have a thousand subs. And she has, what, 8,000, 9,000 subs? Um, but she doesn't do memberships. And I asked her, like, why don't you do memberships? And she goes, well, I don't want to do the time, the the effort. It, okay, well, she, you're already doing YouTube. I'm already putting out, I think she puts out three videos a week. It's it's a lot, right? And and so I was like, well, okay, that makes sense. I'm not going to do memberships. Because I, I, I thought it would be fun but then I really thought about it. I'm like, no, I don't think memberships is for me. Because what's the value added? Like with Jacob's membership, I'm doing it so I can get to his pre-show. Because his pre-show airs earlier than his other show, right? And the only way you can get the pre-show is... And that's where he's fleshing out ideas a lot of the times. Or talking candidly about other things. Which I love. I actually like his pre-show much more than his main show. And more than his videos. So anyway, he was just talking about how to grow his channel, but um, he's a little too controversial. Uh, he has very strong opinions and he does not mince his words. So I think he's not as palatable um, for the, because, you know, when you look at the, he was comparing himself to some of these other channels that are huge and he was, he, he knows why he's not, he doesn't have a million subs. He knows why, you know, but he, he's, he's, you know. Anyway, he's not middle of the road. He's not a fluffy channel. He's not, he's going to say what he thinks. You know, what happens in the bunker stays in the bunker. Yes, Linda, I should remember that and stop talking about it because I keep forgetting about that. So anyway, um, but that was his live show. I can talk about that. Um, he, because this, he, that's public. He, uh, so anyway, but I've listened to a lot of other, other channels talking about, um, yeah, any, but anyone can wander into the bunker, um, talking about growth and channels and, and where they want their channels to go, and what they want to do with them, because, um, I'm not sure I'm, I'm, I'm with the, the, if you watch, um, Caleb's videos, I'm not really on his journey, so it's hard for me to watch his videos, because, I feel like, I honestly feel like his videos for me are an infomercial. I do. I feel like I'm watching a commercial and he is, um, while they're pretty and they're fun, they're, they're not, um, they're, they, he's on a journey I'm not on. You know, I'm not, I don't care about Hermes. I don't, I'm sorry. I don't. But even, but even with, uh, Jacob, he talks about Chanel all the time. I'm not on a journey with Chanel either, but at least that's something I can relate to and understand. Wasn't telling you, just thinking that we're always 
They always say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I forget too, because I'm watching if, I mean, I know it's public. I mean, here's the thing about saying things. If you don't want anybody to know these things, don't say them out loud, ever. You know, um, don't think them. Don't, oh, an ad's going to start in 55 seconds. That's weird. Okay. Um, not weird, but I did. I, I told um, YouTube to evenly distribute them because you can tell YouTube to overload your show or your um, live or your video with a lot of ads or it's all, they call it aggressive. I'm like, uh, no, not aggressive. I'm not aggressive. No, thank you. Um, I'll take moderate. You know, I'm good with moderate. Actually, just it's a balance is what it said. Mm. Yes, I do pay tier two. Um, so, you know, I really have been unhappy with how he's only focusing on Hermes now. Luxational. Yeah, well, see, I found Caleb when he was on, when he was using, um, Dooney and loving Dooney. And, okay, so my ads will start now. So those who are not premium, um, I'll repeat this. It's fine. So anyway, he used to be. He used to be, Caleb, it used to be fun. It used to be spontaneous and fun. And now it's haphazard in the fact that they're waiting so long to produce a video because they want it to be perfect, um, that the content feels forced to me, to me, okay? So this is just my opinion, only my opinion. So I'm not a member of his club or his membership because I, I don't, I'm not on the Aramis journey, and I don't feel like there's any other room um, on that journey uh, with him. I I like vintage Doonies and vintage Coach, and I like uh, Michael Kors bags, and I like um, I I like canvas bags, like literally canvas bags. Um, miss most of the pre-show because he usually goes on when I go to. Yep, yep. Really, we're wait a minute. D, you're in Florida. You must go to, you go to church on a Saturday, um, Linda P. From us here, think it's you, me, Jackie, and Linda S. Yes. Yeah. No, yes, luxational. That's how I feel. Uh, Dee Dee says he's not more, he was more relatable to me personally with the mix of content, but I stay in his membership because I love him and they, well, yeah, that makes sense. I think a lot of people do that, but, um, I get a kick out of Caleb's and oh, I love I I like them. I just can't I can't do premiere videos, and I can't. And his lives are sporadic. I try I, if his lives are more consistent. I, I listen to his lives. I enjoy his lives still, even if we're listening to, um, watching him look at fashion shows. I'm I'm cool with it, but I just miss where he started. So his growth is not where I'm going, and or. It's not something I'm interested in. Saturday after four is the visual mass. Okay. Uh, like I say, show what D kicked out. Wait, huh? Who got kicked out? Um, did I miss something? Do, 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 do. But I'm struggling with the content Hermes and upper. Yeah, I, I have a hard time with content. I don't have really okay. So the bag I would like if someone handed me a bag today and or had all the money in the world, say get whatever bag you want. It would be the Ferragamo Hug bag in large in in the blue. Love that bag. I think it's three thousand dollars. I will never spend three thousand dollars on a bag. I can't. I can't. I have in the past. I had an inheritance from my father. I used it on some very fancy things, and I found out that that is not for me. That. They did not bring me joy. I bought them during a time of grief. I did crazy, stupid things. And um, now we are recovering from those times. And I have learned that just because I'm middle of the road, average person, state income, I like that. You know, I am not the attainable client. You know, that, that aspirational client they talk about that buys that one bag. No, I'd rather buy it used and pre-loved. You know, it's just me. Luxational. I like them when they you're just true, genuine, everyday people like Jackie. I and I'm trying really hard not to let that 
cloud me um, in the future because I don't want to change um, for some weird... I don't want... My aspirational goals in life is not to be a full-time YouTuber. I do not want to do that for work. I want this to be my hobby that's partially a part-time job because I love it. It's fun. But I never want this to be my full-time gig, ever. I am not that person. I love my job. I love being a state employee. I love being a public servant. I love what I do. This is a creative outlet. This is fun. I want to hang out with my friends. You guys are my friends. You know, I, I, I live rural. I moved away from the big city where I did actually did. We had a really active social life. I visited a lot of friends. We went to dinners. We had, we had game day and then we moved to the country. And in the country, we are so far away now that our friends who have children and other obligations, we can't meet up midweek. I can't just cook dinner and have people come over. I can't just go meet people at 15 different other restaurants. We, we can't do that anymore. So I was, so my friends don't actually, my real life friends, people I know in real life don't see me. So I said, well, if I do YouTube, um, I found new friends and I was hoping my other friends would join me here. Um, they have not, and neither has my family. Um, and like one of the things like, um, we moved out here cause we work, um, we moved all the way out in the country country to get off a of 35. Uh, Dee Dee, you understand what I mean when I say get off 35. Uh, that highway road is the devil. Um, it's so much traffic, so much congestion. Everybody lives off of it. So we had to move out further to get away from that. And then we take the back roads up into up to work. So I worked 30 minutes from home. Uh, I, yes, I worked 30 minutes from my house, 45 minutes of traffic, an hour away from, from Austin. Or not Austin. An hour away from San Antonio, which is where my sister lives, which is where... I lived. We lived in Austin, uh, San Antonio. Um, oh, yeah. So, <laughs> that sounds like hell. Yeah. 35 is a hell road. Mr. Watson, I have absolutely nothing to give you. There's no food up here. You can keep trying, little dude, but there's no food. I have nothing to give you. Mm -mm. Um, so, anyhow. Um, hey, Angela. So we moved out to the middle of nowhere and then I was talking to all my, I had found a bunch of YouTube people I liked and I kept commenting. I kept, I, when I started commenting novel like comments, I, and I was talking to Winnie, I said, maybe I should start my own channel because I have a lot to say. And, um, here we are. And I found a whole bunch of new friends. I found people I never, I mean, I found Dee Bean. Um, I think it was in Caleb's live or Jacob's live one of them Dee Dee said some in a live once she's oh yeah it's storming in San Antonio I'm like wait what you're in San Antonio and you know I'm like oh I'm I'm only an hour from you like uh and it, that's pretty cool you know that I can meet somebody who's an hour from me has been an hour from me and we can hang out and see each other but still it's far away Guys, so that's what I'm saying is that I live far, far away. So I just like coming on to YouTube and hanging out. I, the lives for me are just fun. They're just me to hang out with you guys and talk and interact. And I really enjoy that in the chat. I like that you guys are chatting. Um, I don't mind if people lurk and just don't never say anything. That's fine too. Um, and that's also why I never tell people to subscribe. And I tell, and I say that because the analytics are always going to show that more people watch than our subscribers. And what I have found out with my personal friends and family, most people who view YouTube don't have accounts. They just view YouTube, but they don't want to have an account with it. So they're watching, they're liking, they're not subscribing because they can't. You have to have an account to subscribe. Like my sister doesn't have an account to YouTube. Um, my mother doesn't. My other sisters don't. So I never tell people, please subscribe. And I don't let the numbers discourage me because I know that a lot of people who view YouTube aren't, um, they don't have accounts. So they're not going to be able to subscribe. They're just viewers, you know, and I'm cool with that. I'm happy anybody's here. I'm happy y'all are hanging out with me on a Friday evening. Thank you for hanging out with me. And I guess some people, it'd be like a Friday mor oh, Saturday morning. <laughs> Linda, what time is it in your time zone? <laughs> yes, it's too much fun. But yes, 
too far. Yeah, it's too far. It's too far. Even even when I like I haven't seen my twin in, in three weeks because of the distance. Either she's busy on the weekend or I'm busy doing something else or we're free on opposite days. No, sir. I have literally no food for you. None. 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 See my hands? They're empty. Empty. Nothing. Nothing. There's no food. My little pug. To guess. Yeah, so for you, it's Saturday morning. <laughs> for me, it's a Friday evening. Um, that's so true, Jackie. I have family too that don't have accounts. No, they don't have accounts. So don't don't let don't let that discourage you. You know, just keep on, keep it on. You know, ask them to to subscribe and like, of course. But um, I don't really, I don't take it personally at all because I know so many people are just viewers that don't have accounts because they don't want to have the Google account or address to whatever. It's nine twenty two in Cleveland, Ohio. That's not bad. It's eight twenty three here in Texas, Central Texas. Um. Yeah, that's why I was trying, I was trying very hard, I was sitting, trying to figure out how I could do a live where people across the pond could hang out with me more, but it's, um, honestly, my demographics, it's really, Linda, you're it. <laughs> Most people who hang out with me are all in North America, and they're all in the United States, so, which makes sense, you know, you know, Florida! Oh, Angela, you're in Florida? I just left Florida. I was there for um, 10 days or so. I love Florida. I wanted to move there. And then my then um, my friends regaled, regaled me with um, alligator stories. And I'm like, oh, hell no. <laughs> no, thank you. I cannot do alligator stories. Um, that That's real life. I'm like, what? <laughs> I thought alligators were further south. But apparently Orlando is south enough for alligators. I'm like, no. And bears. 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 I'm like, what? Bears? We don't have bears here. You know, we might have bobcats and coyotes and rattlesnakes, but we don't have bears. Not where I live. We have cows. Um, yeah. Yes, 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 sir. Oh, I watched Cassie Thorpe's video today about the Met Gala. That's going to be interesting that the, the theme is Sleeping Beauties. But I think it means dresses from from past eras, not necessarily Sleeping Beauty as in the fairy tale. I think it means Sleeping Beauty as just gowns from across decades. I'm assuming. I wasn't quite sure, but I do know that those all those gowns have to be approved. You have to be invited to go, and then your gowns have to be approved. It's a process, guys. Um, we have all that in Jacksonville. Really, D. Man, it's scary. Angela, Gators all in Orlando and Florida. Yeah, yeah, no. No, no bueno. No bueno. Um, we don't have nothing like that here. Angela, I'm in Orlando. My sister-in-law had a bobcat in her backyard. I was just in Orlando. I went to Disney. We went to Universal and Disney. And I went to the Orlando Premium Outlets, which were, it was a nightmare. Um, I went to the Daytona Outlets, which was much nicer. But you guys have two of the best clothes mentors I have ever seen. Monday's live. I should be doing, I'm going to drag my suitcase out. And I'm going to show you some bags that I got from Orlando, from Florida. Uh, just veggie sharks, cats <laughs> without tails. Oh yeah, the Manx cats. Sheep's with you have sh oh those sheep with four horns. Those are pretty cool. Do you guys have those fuzzy cows? Those cool Highlander cows? Because I love those cows. Those cows are so cute. Um, Jesus, you get used to everything trying to kill you. Yeah, you'd have to because everything's trying to kill you in Florida. The mosquitoes too. Um, we have wild turkeys where I live in rural city. Really? Wild turkeys? I, th I heard that turkeys aren't that bright. Um, let's get ready for bed here. It's been a long week. Good night, Rael. Thank you for hanging out with us, Susie. We raised those cows. Oh, you have the fuzzy cows. Oh, that's so cool. I love those cows. They're so cool looking. Um, I love cows. You know, from a distance. I'm, I'm, um, they're big and intimidating, you know. A couple thousand pounds of cow, you know. 
I have to go see this closed mentor place. I've been here all my life and never heard of them. Yes, there's two of them in the area, and I went to both of them. And the one, I can't remember the name of it, but there's one that's better than the other one. But, oh my gosh, I got the, I got, um, brand, well, I got Ralph Lauren bag for $27. I got Dooney for $30. I bought like five bags. So one of the bags I bought was $130 because it was Dooney Disney. Um, but I had, I had to put bags back. I wanted, I, if I could have bought more, I would have, it was amazing. Um, mine aren't mean. Yay. Well, cows really aren't mean. I say I'm intimidated by them. Um, I mean, they're cows. They're huge. They, if they were mean, they could, you know, we'd be in trouble. They'd win. We would not win. Um, had wild turkeys in my backyard, the Higginbotham luxation. I had about, about to hunt my Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> I actually prefer ham. Um, Linda night, um, rails. Good night, rail. Um, yes, I just found out Linda P that I both have the same type of, yeah, Minx cat. Same. Oh, really? Same color too? Um, like the big teddy bears. Oh, I, I would love to visit your cows. You know, I know we're probably about 12 hours apart from each other. <laughs> um, no, I literally have nothing to give you. You're just, your brain is so tiny. Oh, oh, see, there's no food. There's literally no food here. There's no food. No food. No food. No food. So he's like, I know there was food. There was food. I saw food at some point. Hmm. hmm. I love cats. But I love dogs more than cats. Um, but I'll take any pets I can get. My sister has five cats. So when I want my cat fixed, I go to her house. Um, and five cats is literally too many for one house. She agrees too, but, um, they have, I think, let's see, they started off with one and then Rosie was an outdoor cat who they rescued, who had a litter. She came pregnant. So they kept Rosie and then two of the kittens so, but then Rosie was still an outdoor cat. She refused to be an indoor cat. And so then they had three cats and then a kitten wandered up to them from the pool and they rescued that cat. And then my friend had a litter of cats in her house that she was, um, what's the word? Fostering. And that's how they ended up with five cats. What happened last time when you picked Watson? Yeah, he's actually hiding with James. So he normally he would have been on top of me already. But this one's not too bright. This one keeps thinking there's food up here. So he has to realize there's no food up here. Then he'll he'll abandon me. And plus we closed grandma's door so grandma so grandma can eat in peace. So um he's like, wait, I can't pester grandma. I'm like, no, no, you can't pester grandma. Um yeah. So I'm I'm pretty pretty fortunate that um my big great Dane is with James because he would by the way when we came home he has not let us out of his sight. He's been like, "No, you must pet me." Angela, I have two chitsus. Um they are my ba I love chitsus. I think they're so cute. They're so funny. They're they're big eyes and their floppy hair. Uh, my aunt has um a Maltese. They're they're very small though. And my, my best friend has Yorkies, also very small. Okay, guys. Oh, 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 oh. Where are you going? You, where? Down. You have to, you can't stay there. Really? He's, um. This is the way it's going to be. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You're a ridiculous dog. Look at this. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, no, mom, we're going to just stay right here. I'm not getting down. I'm just like, yeah. Okay. Let's try this again. Don't know. Okay. I'm just going to stand up. 
Yeah, you did that all to yourself. <laughs> He's looking at me all indignant like, I did not fall. Like, yeah, you did. You fell right onto the couch. I had huskies love big, bigger dogs. Huskies are talkers. Huskies, they're drama queens. Huskies are, they're also escape artists and drama queens. You get a bored husky, you have a problem. They are, they will find something to do. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, I have no food. He's still looking at me like, mom, mom. Pugs are just walking stomachs. You can feed them 24 hours so they do not realize they're, they always want food. It's like, no. He only gets a quarter cup of food. He gets a quarter cup in the morning and a quarter cup in the evening. That's it. Yeah, if you never follow the feeding instructions on a bag of dog food, ever, talk to your vet. Because the dog food will always, that on the bag, they'll always um, overfeed. Susie, you have English Bulldogs? We so wanted an English Bulldog. We tried to adopt some, but it was during the pandemic, and the rescues were being very precious with their Bulldogs, and they didn't they didn't qualify us. So we didn't get one. We really wanted the Bulldog. So we got the the Pug. He's, they're both rescues. Um, love Huskies. When I have a bigger house, I'm going to have Huskies again. Yeah, they're like fish, and you will... Eat them. Oh yeah, yes. Pugs are ridiculous. They're not bright. They just they're food motivated. The Great Dane is not food motivated. Her name is Poppy. Oh, I love I love English bulldogs. Our James's grandfather had a bulldog named Sherlock, which is why we ended up with a pug named Watson because we wanted to get another. We wanted to get an English bulldog and name him Watson, um, but we just couldn't. We 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 don't we. Personally, we don't do breeders or um, pet shops. We rescue dogs. So we go through rescues and we interviewed and we filled out forms. And it was during the height of the pandemic and people were overly adoptive, but they weren't, you know, they're very selective. So like I just got a notice today that one of the shelters I follow full capacity no room at all in the inn because what happened was during the pandemic everybody um went and adopted pets and then when everybody had to go back to work they abandoned them well here in texas anyway um dd we have a red dash hound yeah a white terrier a mixed pit bull that thinks she's a tiny dog and sits on my really that's funny that's funny all rescues, three outside cats and two inside cats. I love pit bulls. We actually, the only reason I don't have a pit bull is because when we were looking for dogs, we wanted to still go camping. And campsites are breed, they have breed restrictions. So a lot of camping places here won't let you have a pit bull. Which is a total ridiculousness because they're sweet is pie. Those dogs are adorable. They're they're big. They're like they look like little land hippos and they're so sweet. They're just wonderful dogs. But people see them and they get terrified. I'm like, no, I've been bitten by chihuahuas. Not these bigger breeds that you that you can't have pinchers, Doberman pinchers. You can't have um large shepherds. You can't have um what's the other dog? Um there's a, there's a whole list of dogs that they won't let you have at campsites. Pitbull being one of them. You know, and pitbulls are, they're awesome. They're awesome dogs. You know, they're, they're friendly. They're super soft. Very cuddly. They always have a smile. They're just fabulous dogs. Um, yeah, no Rottweilers. That's the other one. But, you know, you can have an English Mastiff our great Pyrenees people are afraid of our great Dane great Danes are big babies they're just big dogs you know great Danes literally are afraid of their shadow sometimes it is ridiculous they just have a large bark like like if you change the texture of the floor or change some like I put a I put a pillow on his sofa in a way that is different and he's like mom mom something's wrong with the couch he'll come over to me and he'll take me to the couch he's like what there's something on the couch and i'll move the pillow and he'll get on the couch it's ridiculous no watson um 
our MSPC here is full to the all the time too. Yeah, the Manx Cat Sanctuary too. Wish I had more space to get more pets. Uh, Great Danes are Marmadukes. Yes, yes, they are. They're big, lazy couch potatoes. Um, I also wanted a, um, a retired. Um, what was the name of that dog? Racing dog. Why can't I remember the name of the dog? Greyhound. Retired greyhounds. But James doesn't like... They're too skinny and pointy. James doesn't like them. So I'm like, fine. But we have a racetrack up in San, down in San Antonio. And that racetrack, you can always... There's always um, rescues. But uh, they have a lot of health problems. Any... A lot of dog breeds. It's, it's better just to get a mixed breed. They're healthier. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we've been hanging out for two hours. I am going to get off and hang up the, um, it's an old reference that I always forget sometimes that Jackie, you're old, um, hang up, hang up the shingle, which a shingle used to be like, um, a slate plaque. That people used to hang up your shingle. If you were a lawyer, you could go to private practice and he was like, hang up your shingle and go into business. And or and it was a, sometimes a term to end the day, you know. So, but I, I have these weird sayings that um, my parents were old. My grand, my, my mom's not, but my dad was. And my, my dad was born in 1938. My grandparents were born in 1908. So I just grew up with these weird sayings that James is like, what? I'm like, oh, it, you haven't heard that reference? He's like, oh, no. Or I'll bring up something like, oh, Mrs. Kravitz, which is a c reference from the Bewitched TV show that my husband has never seen about the nosy neighbor. Um, and I, I now like, James, what is by Felicia from? And what is, wh who's Karen? And why are we mad at Karen? And I'm like, what are these references? I do not understand. <laughs> I really, I literally, I literally, literally had to, to say, um, who's Karen and why are we mad at her? <laughs> so anyway, I have tons of old sayings. Yeah. Like my, my grandmother, her, her swear word was piffle. And that just kind of means supercilious. It's kind of one of those, my grandparents used to read the dictionary my grandfather used to carry um, collect dictionaries, and for fun, they liked words. So they looked at they looked at words. I mean, what they read the newspaper. People don't read newspapers. I don't read news. I don't read the newspaper. Um. So anyway, okay. I know I said it before. I'm gonna say it now. I'm gonna end the live stream. I'm gonna go live on Monday, um, like normal, and I'm probably gonna do a Monday Friday schedule for for going live. Um, <laughs> my, my mom's swear word was bloody. I've used that word quite often because it's fun. It's a fun word. Um, bloody, you know, um, very British. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting off. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for all the super chats. Thank you for the moderators. Thank you. Every, thank you, Linda, for hanging out with me in the early AMs. Um, is awesome hanging out with everybody, but um, it's been a long day and I'm tired. I'm going to bed. <laughs> um, night, everybody. Night, Pixie. Night, Angela. Let's see, end this live stream.